This upgrade to Adagio Ledger version 9.2b primarily features significant improvements in the Financial Reporter. New features include pinning fiscal periods and departments across all sheets of a workbook, conditional cell formatting, updating both fiscal year budgets, and more. Click this link to watch the video demonstrating the key Financial Reporter changes. Adagio uses Crystal Reports for all of its management reporting, and it is possible to export the results to Excel for further analysis. But the layout of the values in Excel may be less than desirable due to how Crystal does the export. Now, a new feature to Adagio is for specific reports to support Excel Direct with results in a more usable table-based format. The first time you start Ledger 92 b you will be asked a question whether you would like to enable Excel Direct reports for this company and for all users. In the company profile and at the bottom of the Posting Reports tab, new setup defaults can be found for Excel Direct printing. These are separate to options related to the integration to Adagio ePrint and are still available even when ePrint is not installed. Choose the location where the Excel report will be saved, in some folder under the data location. This save folder can be changed for individual reports. Also, determine whether new Excel workbooks overwrite existing files with the same name or have the system date and time appended to the file name. Next, from the File menu and User Preferences, you can set from the Report Options tab for this user whether or not Excel Direct Printing is available. Also, choose Defaults for whether the Excel spreadsheet is opened after the report is generated, or an Explorer window to where the Excel file was saved. Only specific reports support Excel Direct Printing. For Ledger, this would be the trial balance and the detail listing. When Excel Direct Printing is enabled, supported reports will have the standard Excel Direct button. Also, an Excel Direct Options button has a place for configuring specific save settings, such as a unique location, or overwrite, or opening behavior. Also, you may include codes in either the save location or Excel file name in the same way as for e-printed PDF reports to embed supported information such as date, user ID, fiscal period or year, or others. To see the Excel file name and save location prior to exporting, from the destination drop-down field at the bottom of the screen, select Excel Direct to display the information. And to generate the Excel file, click the Excel Direct button. There is a maximum index length for this process, so the fields selected for sorting shouldn't be too long. Typically, this means removing description from the sort and replacing it with a shorter field when required. Processing the Excel Direct report may take a few moments, depending on the amount of data selected for the report. The spreadsheet will not be 100% identical to printed report results. For example, the Excel Direct detail listing will not have subtotals by period or by department. As with all other report settings, Excel Direct options are saved with Favorite Report Configuration. When a favorite is selected, the associated Excel saving options will be used when the export is performed. Also, the favorite settings for reports may be used when adding to report sets. When creating or editing a report set, and for reports that support Excel Direct, like the detail listing, you may choose to edit the settings and override the destination for Excel Direct. 
the favorite Excel options are loaded here and can be changed as desired. Those reports with an Excel Direct destination will have an Excel file generated instead of a print job or a PDF.